His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has again blasted President Museveni. I'm telling you, this Magere guy is a very big problem to President Museveni and his government. <laughs> I'm coming up with the details. The late General Eli Tumwine's wife has made a very shocking request to President Museveni's government. Stand by for the details. President Museveni's son, General Mohozi Kainerugaba, faces trouble after a soldier from the SFC Brigade collapsed at the recent event. Stand by for the details. Well, a very good morning. You're most welcome on The Buzz UG. I'm coming to you with the stories making headlines in the country this Sunday. However, subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fula. Now, following a viral video showing NRM Youth Secretary for Mobilization in charge of Gomba District, Ewan Kisachamu Kamayiga, apparently his wife has filed for a divorce. Well, according to reports, Maria, the wedded wife to Kisacha Mukama, is extremely angry by the shameful behavior of her husband as he lamented obscenities in a trending video. It said that Maria has already packed her belongings and vacated Kisacha Mukama's premises in Lunguja, Rubaga Division. Although last week the spokesperson of Uganda police, Mr. Fred Nanga, promised to have this guy arrested, but up to now, no action has been taken in that regard. By the way, even NRM party itself, where this guy belongs, hasn't said anything on this matter. I just imagine if this guy was from the opposition. A. <laughs> it would be a very big topic right now in the country. But, you know, the other side of NRM, they are very quiet. They are not talking anything, even after such happening on social media. Now, the family of the late General Eli Tumine has appealed to the top leadership of UPDF to consider the fact that they still need the fleet of vehicles and VIP protection formally accorded to the big man, General Eli Tumine. Now, Jole Tumine, the widow, is said to have raised this concern to the Chief of Defense Forces, General Wilson Mbadi, who said he will contemplate and see if the family is entitled to the benefits meant for the late General Eli Tumine. However, this issue has brought mixed reaction in the public. Some people are saying she's right to ask for the convoy. Others are questioning that convoy for what? Is Jole Tumine a member of the UPDF? Stop wasting taxpayers' money. I'm telling you, people are very angry. Anyway, I don't know what you think about this story, but it's one of the stories making headlines this Sunday. And in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. There was a moment of panic on Friday when a member of the SFC Brigade that protects President Museveni and the First Family collapsed and nearly died while protecting the First Lady, Janet Kataha Museveni, at the launch of Sour Safe Water in Wakiso District. According to reports, the SFC soldier who was standing a few meters away from the First Lady could have collapsed due to dehydration caused by standing at the event for a long time. However, the soldier was eventually carried away to an ambulance nearby and he was rushed to a military hospital in Entebbe. Up to now, it's not yet understood what made the soldier collapse, but according to other reports, he's now in a stable condition. Now, a section of Ugandans have pointed fingers at General Mohozi Kainerugaba saying that maybe the soldier was hungry or maybe he was sick and uh, he had no option but to go for work. So some people are saying that these soldiers should be subjected to thorough checkups before sending them to work. I don't know what you think about this story, but you know, those are suggestions coming in from the public. <music> NUP President, His Excellency Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has again blasted President Museveni for copying his proposal on the increment of salaries for the UPDF soldiers. 
During the 2021 presidential campaigns, we all remember very well Bobby Wine vowed to UPDF soldiers that the least paid of them would be pocketing one million every month. But unfortunately, President Museveni was announced as the president. One year after President Museveni was sworn in, the salaries of senior UPDF soldiers were increased. Now, Bobby Wine says, although President Museveni succeeded in copying his proposal, he might fail to fully implement it due to high levels of corruption in this government. Bobby Wine says if he had been announced as the president, he would have increased salaries for all government workers across the country. Well, there you go. That's the latest news coming in from Bobby Wine's camp. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And uh, most importantly, subscribe to the Buzz UG in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. Big up to you, all the Buzz diehards. Thank you for following all the updates right here on the Buzz UG. It's a bye for now. Audio jungle.